Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the text function. So what the text function does, it converts a number value to text and it also lets you specify or display the formatting uh, out of the output. So for example, if I took this number and I want to turn it to currency, what I can do is use the text function to do that. Equal text and then take this value and then use the formatted text. So, so there's a bunch of ways to display the formatted text. What I can do is click on the insert function and window and we can see help on this function. If I go over here, Microsoft site will give you the explanation of the text function, but also provide you what that formatted text will may look like. So what are the what are the what are the arguments that we can put in there? So if you put a zero in there, that placeholder it will display insignificant zeros. Uh, if you put a pound sign, it will just it will have a, it applies the same rule as a zero, but if there's nothing in that, that value there, it's going to display nothing. And there's also some other examples here to use it. So, for example, if you use that format, it will output something like this dot 59. If you only put a dot hash mark there or octotrope there, it's only, it's going to round it up to six. So, let me go ahead and show you an example. Basically, if you wanted to look at the different display format types, you can go click on the help button when you go into the insert function window but let me go ahead and show you this example with the dollar sign. Let me go ahead and close out this window here. So if we want to show the format of text as a dollar sign what I can do is I have to put that into quotes. So I put a quote here I'm gonna put dollar sign so it's gonna be a hundred dollars and I want to put zero because there has to be one zero at least over to the left of the decimal put a decimal there and then two zeros. So basically what we're saying here is it comes out to the penny and I'll close that in quotes and you can see that the result it shows here and it shows here. So if I click OK you'll notice that I have my currency here now. If I change this to one hundred and one dollars and one cents you'll see that one cent show up. If I don't want to go up hundred dollars if I just want to show maybe five cents it will not show the zeros uh, it will not show the zero past the uh, the ten dollars. It just show that zero and it show five cents there. Now that's the display format. So basically, turn that number into text. And the reason how you can discern whether or not this value is numbers or text is usually values that are uh, aligned to the left are text. Values that are aligned to the right are numbers. That's the way Excel uh, sees between a text and a number. We can also do something similar with a date. So let's say, for example, I just wanted to pull out the January from here. Uh, this is the 1-1-2014. One, one, I just want to pull out January. The, let's say I want to pull out the three characters for January, J-A-N. What I can do is type equal text. I'll go ahead and tab it to complete it. Select that value and then for the format of text, it, I can go up here into insert function and go to the help and find the table where it shows me the uh, kind of the date display formats, but I know it already. What It's going to be MMM, so that's month, 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 that will display the three characters of the month. So that's basically MMM here, and close quotes, close parentheses. When I press enter, it'll show me January. So if I change this to maybe December, put a 12 there, it will show December. Now you may think that adding using the text function might be a little bit overkill because what I can do I can I can go up here and basically just do it as a currency click currency and in this date maybe I can just go under date here I'll go into more number formats find the date and just see if there is just a month one and there is something like that there's this there's this M1 so this M1 would just show you the first letter of that month but let's see if we can go into custom and find that MMM it's probably somewhere down here no, it's not. So you'd have to probably have to create it yourself. But you see that there's these other options of this display. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. So you might want to think to yourself, why, why would I use the text function then? So what if you wanted to convert the currency from one currency to another and use the symbols? So for example, US dollars has this dollar sign mark. But if you look in currency here, if I go to currency, go to more numbers, and click on currency, there is nothing for, for example, the euro or the yen. If I go under custom, there's nothing here for the euro or the yen. So we can actually use the text function to do that, to turn this into a yen number or a euro number. So I can just do something like this. So maybe I need to find the character symbol for euro, and I have that right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and escape and go to right here. I have the character for euro, so I'm just going to select that Control C to copy and go back here and type 
and remove that dollar sign and then control V to paste and now I have a euro sign but let's do something a little bit more interesting let's go into our example tab here and let's say for example we will have a cell here that we have in US dollars you want to convert it into either euros or yen but we want to get the current conversion rates so what we can do is I'm gonna create another tab here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the data tab here go to get external data group and under existing connections click on that command and what I want to do is get the MSN money central investor currency rate so this will go basically go out to the Microsoft site to get the latest currency rates click on that click open and I want to have it put on a1 here under properties before I click OK I want to go to properties and maybe this is something that I refresh every time I open up the file so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this checkbox and then click OK and then click OK here so right now it's going to the MSN site to pull the latest currency rates so you can see that there are a bunch of currency rates here let me go ahead and double click this column here to auto fit it and you can see that there's the latest currency rates here so what I want to do is when I want to build it out I want to look at the euro so this is one thing I want to look at here let me go ahead and just bold this and then I also want to look at the Japanese yen let me go ahead and bold this All right so the one dollar will be 785.785 euros for that and then one dollar would be 108.2 yen so this is this is the, this third column here is where I want to take my data if I have a hundred dollars what will equal in euros and yen so what I'm going to do is I actually pull in the header here I'm going to use a VLOOKUP to look up look it up so this euro United States dollar matches exactly with this and this Japanese yen United States dollar matches exactly with that and I need that because I'm going to do a VLOOKUP right now so I'm going to go ahead and type equal VLOOKUP and the local value is this and I'm going to look it up in the table back here in the currencies tab so I'm going to go ahead and select this table and then um, control shift down arrow to select the whole table I'm going to press the F4 key what it's going to do is put dollar signs in front of the letter and the number so it makes it an absolute reference in reality for this example I don't really need to do that but I just gotten out of habit of doing that because when you copy these formulas onto other cells you want this to stay static and that's what I'm actually just doing you don't actually in this case I don't really need the dollar signs but it's just the force of habit that I have so what I want to do is also for the next argument when I put the comma it's gonna highlight this or make it bold this column index number basically for this table there's three columns this is the first index this is the second and this is the third what I want to do is bring back the value for the third index so I'm gonna type three and I want an exact match I want to I want that lookup value to exactly match the target table here so I want to make that exact match so I'm gonna click false double click that close the parentheses here and press enter and you now notice that it brought back 0.785 which is and that is right here 785.785 so that is one dollar equals 0.785 euros but I wanted to multiply that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say times this but that's gonna give it to me uh, in euros but without any kind of marker to indicate that it is a euro so this is where the text function comes into play I want to get that symbol in here somewhere so what I'm gonna do is I got the symbol so I'm gonna go ahead and select that control C to copy press escape to get out of it go back into this cell and I'm gonna type text right here after the equal sign text and then open parentheses and now the value so this is the value that it's good that it outputted earlier that 785 or 78.5 and then I want to have that formatted text indicate the euro sign so I'm gonna go under end here and then press comma and the format text I have to remember I have to put it into quotes so I'm gonna do quotes and then control V to paste and then this is going to be either zero zero oops zero dot zero zero so I want to go to the nearest penny close quotes close parentheses and press enter and now you have it where you have the euro sign and then 78.50 so 78.50 euros so I'm going to do that with the yen and I'm also going to describe how you get these characters so basically these characters are, are, are symbols and so if you just go under insert and go under symbol here you will find those characters so in any of the fonts they should have most of the currency symbols so I, I go to your Arial, which is right here my currency symbol for the euro is here 
Um, unfortunately, the yen doesn't show up as a currency symbol, so you probably have to look it up. And I believe the yen is kind of further up here. If I scroll up here and then scroll down, I should find the yen. There's also the pound here, uh, so that's available. So all you need to do is select a cell anywhere and just click insert, click close. I inserted the wrong symbol, so let me go ahead and go back into insert and then click on the yen here and then click insert and click close and you see the yen has showed up here. So that's the same thing with the euro, you can just type it in and then basically what I did was I just cut, cut that and I just pasted it in there and it shows up. So what I want to do here first before I create this, um, this VLOOKUP and text function together, I need to copy this. So I'm going to go ahead and select that control C to copy, escape. So it's, now it's on the clipboard and I can just do the same thing what I did earlier. Type the VLOOKUP. I want to look up this value in this table. Go ahead and go back up here and go ahead and click on that. Control shift right arrow to select across. Control shift down arrow to select down. Uh, press my F4 keys. I really don't need that, but it's just a habit. And that I'm gonna I selected the table array. I'm gonna go ahead and put a comma there. So the column index number is the third column. One, two, three. I want to get the value out of here. I want to get that 108 out of there. If I press enter, it's going to put that 108 there. So it's $1 is equal to 108.2 yen. But I want to turn that into a yen symbol there. So what I want to do now is I also want to put the text function in front. The text, open parentheses, and then that value, and then a comma, quotes, and then now control V to put that yen in there. Now I'm going to put 0.00 because I want zeros out to the penny. Close quotes, press enter. Oops, I didn't put a closing parentheses and Excel was smart enough to indicate that, hey, we're gonna put a closing parentheses for you. So I'll take that suggestion. And then you can see now I have my 108.2 yen. So remember, as I said before, the text function converts a numeric value to text. So this is aligned to the left. This has turned it into text. So you can't perform any calculations on this. But what it does is it's giving you that character now. You've got the you've got the Euro character, you've got the yen character. So that's an example of how we can use the text function to help us do some conversion and also put the characters in front so we know that it is the currency of that specific uh, nation. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.